KION News Channel 546 at 11. Good evening in Hollister. The community is mourning the loss of a son and a nephew of a former sergeant who served and protect their neighborhoods. Thanks for being here for KION News at 11. I'm Veronica Macias. And I'm Phil Aldridge. Tonight, one son remains in the ICU after what the family is calling a random and unprovoked shooting at a Colorado Springs skate park on Saturday. KION Stephanie Estevez is live at the Hollister Police Department where a vigil was held tonight in memory of the victims. Stephanie. This vigil was held in honor of the victims who tragically died. Family friends tell me the children of Sergeant Ray Solano had hearts of gold. They're like really a family to us. You know, that I, you know, it's, it's very sad. It's the news that no parent wants to hear. I just, I just can't imagine what, what they're going through. The sons and nephew of a former Hollister police sergeant, Ray Solano, were shot at a skate park in Colorado Springs. Dominic, the 14-year-old son, and an adult nephew died when they were shot multiple times. Dylan, Solano's 12-year-old son, remains in the hospital. A memorial with candles and flowers were placed at the Hollister Police Department. A close friend and neighbor says her two girls were close with the Solano boy. Dominic is so tall and my daughter is small, so she would call um, Dominic Tolly and Dominic would call my daughter Shorty, so she's, my daughter is really sad. They grew up together, my kids and her kids. Hollister Police Chief Carlos Reynoso was present at the vigil and says the family is struggling to cope. They're concentrating on their son Dylan's recovery. Um, but the, it's just a huge amount of pain for their son Dominic and, and their cousin uh, Gage. Dylan woke up today at the hospital with doctors saying they'll be able to save his eye and arm. It's devastating to the officers. We feel for Ray and Sonny and what they're going for, through right now. This small vigil was their way of showing how despite being miles away, the Solano family is in the thoughts and prayers of the Hollister Police Department. Told another vigil is planned for tomorrow at 5 p.m. Reporting in Hollister, Stephanie Aceves, KION News Channel 546.